Welcome to Draw Me Like One of Your H-Turd Inhibitors. Here we have a bunch of cells. To you and me, they look like normal healthy cells, having a great time, going about their functions in the body. But in reality, these cells are immortal, therefore cancerous. So how do these cells continue to proliferate? Well, it's due to this guy, telomerase or H-Turd for short. But for today, let's call it the Titanic. This guy is an enzyme which maintains the length of telomeres. Telomeres are the caps at the end of each strand of DNA that protect our chromosomes, like the plastic tips at the end of shoelaces. Telomeres shorten each time human somatic cells divide. When the telomeres shorten to the point where there is no cap left, a DNA damage response induces P53 and P16 PRB pathways, which then act together to induce senescence. H-Turp maintains the ends of the chromosomes by adding telomeric repeats to the three prime ends. This keeps the cell replicating by avoiding apoptosis. A normal amount of proliferation is okay. This is around 30 to 50 cycles, but too much of this can be bad. If P53 and P16 PRB pathways are not activated, uncontrolled proliferation occurs, which is one of the hallmarks of cancer. Simple, yeah? But what can we do to stop this? There are some very smart people out there who have designed treatments that can block the activity of HTAP, the iceberg to our Titanic. This iceberg, GRN163L, acts as a direct telomerase RNA template antagonist for the substrate. It will bind to this sequence with high affinity, so that the H-turt binds this antagonist instead of the telomere itself, stopping the H-turt from doing its job and allowing cells to exit the cell cycle. Another type of iceberg, BIBR1532, is one of the most potent H-turt inhibitors discovered thus far. BIBR1532 is a non-competitive and highly selective pharmacological inhibitor of H-turt activity. It works by impairing DNA substrate elongation during template copying and reduces the number of tag repeats, inhibiting the effect of HTAT itself, as opposed to just one substrate type. Now with this treatment, you're probably wondering whether this would affect normal cells. But don't be alarmed, non-pathogenic somatic cells only express low levels of HTAT. Cancer cells, on the other hand, express a lot. This means the drug has a high specificity to cancer cells and therefore works as a cancer treatment. Only cancer cells will die. With all the advancements in cancer research and treatment, we are developing more and more icebergs to help us sink more Titanics in the future. So remember kids, telomeres monitor the lifespan of a cell. Telomerase regulates telomere length. Too much telomerase gives you cancer. But don't worry, there are treatments that will help. Don't do drugs, stay in school. <laughs>